levels you produce quark anti-quark until the, the, the quark, the initial quark form what we detect in the detector. You know, all my time when I was in high school, I used to spend my summers solving complicated pro problems. I used to remember my teacher one day telling me, why you didn't do your homework? I say, well, I don't want to. He said, well, how come? I say, because, you know, we have a book, it has 100 problems. If I do them, then I will not have anything to do left. So he was laughing. I say, if you give me a new book, I will do this. Well, these are the uh, you know, women of science throughout the uh, centuries. I'm very fascinated with fundamental questions. I don't want to be limited because you know, there are always this question about applied science versus fundamental science. Both of them are very important. Mm -hmm. But we should never forget that the, the origin of you know, the humanity thinking is curiosity. I think that's what makes, that what God creates us different from all other creatures. We have brains, we are curious, we can um, invent. I, I'm sure that we can even surprise God sometimes. Religion is important, so believing in God is important. So I, w I used to tell my dad, I would like my goal, why I want to do science, I would like to learn what God is made of. Because I believe in him, but I don't see him. There are so many things that, really bothers me and uh, so I was thinking you know if I learn a lot I can you know be close to God and know more about what he's made of of course that was when I was seven years old but my dad never told me oh you should not talk about that because of course this is very naive thinking but he told me yes should go and learn learn as much as you can and there is no boundary faith makes me stronger and I don't think there is anything in religion preventing us from learning as much